Hello again everybody, it's AJ, and today we're going to be doing a video on do while loops. Do while loops you will find are very similar to while loops, but they have one kind they just have one really minor difference that can throw off your thinking and you want to make sure that you can handle that. So a do while loop has the keyword do, do, as you can see here. It is a keyword, and then we do parentheses and closing brackets. So a do while loop starts out with the keywords do and then you have brackets a closing and ending bracket and this is and between them is where you're going to put your code but the thing that makes it different is instead of a while loop being at a while statement being at the top like where the do is the while statement is going to be at the bottom usually it's on the same line as the ending brace so i do while and then i do um parentheses i need a closing and ending one and then i also the kind of weird thing that can make you that can um that can kind of throw you off here is that you need a semicolon after the while loop after the while loop now in our other tutorials we didn't have a semicolon on the same line as the while loop de declaration right we only had it if for instance we did int count uh, I'm typing too fast here int count equals one and then I do count plus plus without that and then I would put a semicolon after count, but for the, the while in this statement, in the do while loop, the count is a statement. The while statement is a statement instead of just a condition that has to be met. So you need a semicolon after the while if you're using a do while loop, not if you're using a regular while loop. So as you can see here, I have, I have something to do, I have something that I need to do, and then I have a while loop. And so the difference, the main difference, this is what you guys got to listen to for between a do while loop and a while loop is that a do while loop, what we're looking at right here, always runs once. And what I mean by always runs once is that the condition for the while loop is checked after each iteration, not before each iteration. Let me show you what I mean. So after this, I'm going to see out. I always do that. I'm going to see out count, and I'm going to do an endo, and I'm going to say count plus plus, and I'm going to say while count is greater is less than negative five. Now up here, I initialize count to one, so obviously that is not true. Count is count is greater than one, so this loop should not run at all. And now I'm going to run the program, and hopefully, if everything is okay, I am going to get two two printed out so my loop so count incremented once to two and then the loop stopped so what happened is in a like i said in a do while loop the condition is checked after each run through so on the first run through i have count equals one then i do count plus plus then i check if count then i check this condition is count less than negative five no it's not so i don't go back to the top i just keep going down through my code to line 28 let me highlight here, and then I go down to line 29, which terminates the program since it returns zero in my main method. So let's say, for instance, I do I say as long as count is greater than five, I increment count. Then when I run this, as you'll see, I get five, and that's because count when count is five, count will keep on incrementing, and then count will be five, and then it will say, oh while count is less than five. Well, five is not less than five, it's equal to five. If I put an equal to sign here, then it would go one more time. But since I didn't, it, it stops and then keeps on going. So do, so just so just to clearly again put this in perspective, I'm going to try to do a while loop on the same, um, um, in the same kind of, the same kind of border here. So while count is less than five, I'm going to do count plus plus. And then just to show you guys here, I'm going to set count back equal to one so that you can kind of tell nothing happens. And for some reason, I forgot to see out count and L. I always forget to do that. I'm sorry, I'm using a different keyboard and my finger always seems to be off. And there we go. So I'm going to do a do while loop here, 
and then I'm going to print out count, and then I'm going to reset count equal to 1, and then I'm going to do a while loop, and I'm going to see what this while loop prints out. And really, and I have an error, and that is because I forgot an n right here. <laughs> okay. So, as you can see here, uh, my my loop ran to 5, and that's because I didn't put this back to negative 5, but it did increment, and it checked it out each time. But my while loop, at the beginning of my while loop, it checked that count is less than negative 5, and since it wasn't, since that this condition was not true, then my program just went to where my cursor is right here and just continued going down. So it put an out count which was 1 because I didn't re-increment it from when I changed it to 1. So as you can see, while loops check the condition in the beginning, do while loops check the condition at the end. Also remember, you need the semicolon at the end of your while in your do while loop. So um, let me get rid of all this just to show you guys to uh, again demonstrate everything. So that's your do while loop. It's pretty cool. It's pretty dandy. And that's, pro that's basically all you need to know. I hope you guys have a great dandoodly day.